There's a little debate that still lingers around every now and then on whether or not digital art is actually art. The biggest problem with tr digital art is that it's seen as traditional art without the hard labor. And let me start with one that I received personally. The undo button is unfair and it's cheating. You have to understand that when you undo something in Photoshop or whatever art program you are doing stuff in, that you are not downloading the information on how to draw that specific subject directly to your brain, you are actually just undoing a mistake. It's like wiping off the paint of something instead of drawing it perfectly the first time. This undo button allows people to be a lot more reckless with their artworks, but you have to understand that many artists before the digital art age would undo their mistakes all the time simply by taking a napkin or a towel or a cloth of some sort to wipe off any of the offensive paint to their painting and redo the brush stroke. John Singer Sargent was notorious for this. He would spend hours just redoing a brush stroke just so he can get it right. The other complaint is that the computer does everything for you. Well, <laughs> I really wish there was like a button that I could press and it would just magically paint this beautiful painting for me, but uh, funny enough, it there isn't. Heck, I really wish there was a button that I could press that makes this video, but no, I actually have to work. Well, let's say that digital art does things faster. You have to understand that people build shortcuts to allow them to create things faster and allow them to work more fluidly throughout the entire painting. And that's pretty cool and all, but you still have to put in the labor. While you have access to all of these shortcuts and whatnot, and the ability to be able to draw and paint on demand, and create these wonderful, beautiful landscapes, you still have to know what compositionally goes together in order to create a beautiful or fully rendered piece. Now, some artists are able to do this very quickly, and that allows them to do output like a lot of rough paintings and so on and so forth. But it still takes them six hours to do it. I mean, if you want to talk about shortcuts, Bob Ross did all of his paintings in 20 minutes. So. If that isn't a marker to measure what art is, or what digital art is, I think the best way to solve this problem is to be able to define what art is. Oh, that's gonna be very hard. After I've looked through a billion different definitions of artworks, or of art definitions, like every dictionary seems to have a different definition of art, and they all seem like kind of fast from each other. The one I pull from dictionary.com is, art is the quality, production, expression, or realm according to aesthetic principles of what is beautiful, appealing, or of more than ordinary meaning. And then Merriam-Webster seems to say that, art is the conscious use of skill and creative imagination, especially in the production of aesthetic objects. And then the Oxford Dictionary says, the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in visual form, such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Now, why is that? Why are all of the definitions different? I have no clue. I, it's really. <laughs> Despite all of these differences in definitions of art, digital art fits all of them, actually. Between all of these definitions, one can make the assertion that. As long as the primary function of art is to create an aesthetic of beauty or emotion, then it falls into the category of art. Every dictionary just seems to say that differently. This doesn't go under to talk about how it was created. It still requires it to be of a conscious use of skill and creative imagination to create something. So whether or not you can feel it or touch it, it is still art despite it being created digitally. And according to the Oxford Dictionary, the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, it still falls under that category as well. The idea that digital art isn't art is kind of irrational. I mean, we've kind of built up this idea of what art is, and then art goes around and kind of destroys it. Because art isn't something that you can box up and say, 
this is what it is. Well, it, honestly, you can't do that with any subject. You can't say that a car is something that's going to have only four wheels. Eventually, somewhere down the line, someone has a six-wheel car. Somewhere down the line, someone's going to bend that definition and create it. But back to the main subject, we can still say that art, no matter what it's created with, is still art. And it is also a respectable application of art because it still takes people long hours and hard work to be able to do it. But enough of that. We should talk about why digital art is a good thing to society. Now, digital art has done three things. It's created entertainment, thought, and it has also created thousands and thousands of jobs for young aspiring creative artists to create for themselves. Without digital art, you would not have Pixar, D Disney, Blue Sky Studios, and the people who make all of those wonderful and creative films for us. Really, digital art is a good thing. Now to everyone who's been put down over being a digital artist and whatnot, don't be. Without your existence, we wouldn't have Pixar, we wouldn't have Blue Skies, we wouldn't have DreamWorks. We need your creative idea out there, and there are people out there looking for you. The job market out there is insane, and the pay rate is great too. There's no reason to not be a digital artist unless you didn't want to be a digital artist. And that's respectable too. So with that, I hope you guys have come to a better understanding that Digital art is a good thing, and have a good one.